repeat the Jack Graham Groovy Days of Christmas by Pimbley and James Dean. Thank you for like and subscribing. On the first day of Christmas, please take to me a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the second day of Christmas, be gave to me two fuzzy gloves and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the third day of Christmas, be gave to me three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the fourth day of Christmas, be gave to me Four far out surfboards, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the fifth day of Christmas, be gave to me five onion rings, four far surfboards, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the sixth day of Christmas, Pete gave to me six capers rolling, five onion rings, four flowers of a tree, and me cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, on a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the seventh day of Christmas, Pete gave to me Seven car tickets, six cables rolling, five onion rings, four far out surfboard three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy clubs, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the eighth day of Christmas, be gift to me a good dressing guitar, seven. Crack ticket, six skateboard rolling, five onion rings, four fire turtles, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the ninth day of Christmas, be gave to me nine ugly sweaters, eight kitters dreaming, five. Seven corner tickets, six skateboard trolling, five onion rings, four fire turfboard, three yummy cookies, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the tenth day of Christmas, be gifting me ten start to go sleeping. Nine ugly sweaters, eight sonic guitars, three corner tickets, two skateboard rolling, five onion rings, four fire skills, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the eleventh day of Christmas, be gifted me. Eleven balls, a bouncing, six strolls, a sleepy, five, nine ugly sweater, eight guitar streaming, seven correct six, six skateboard rolling, five onion rings, four flowers, surfboard, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the twelfth day of Christmas, be gave to me twelve friends in a row, twelve balls, a bouncing, ten turners, a sleeping, nine ugly sweaters, eight guitars, screaming, seven arctic, six skateboards rolling, five onion rings, four flower trippers, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves. 
and they all trip to the sea. Groovy! Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Today we're going to read Peter Cat, the Kid, Leprechaun Chase by James Dean. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day and Pete's teacher Mrs. G is the teaching about leprechauns. The only time you can catch one is on St. Patrick's Day. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mrs. G says. Now everyone is in class, want a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open a leprechaun chatting business. St. Patrick's Day comes and Pete gathers some supplement. He hangs a sign above his stand. This will be easy, Pete thinks. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want the electric gun. Squirrel says, I need good luck for my test. Cool, I'm on it, says Pete. Pete has a plan. He will follow a rainbow till he finds a leprechaun. Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow. and finds Clover, the leprechaun, next to the pot of gold. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swiss! But Clover is too fast. Did you think you could catch me so easily? He asks. Once there was a cat named Pete, who thought nibbling some luck would be neat. Then he had up to a smaller leprechaun will find quite a trick to beat. Clover disappeared in a puff of green smoke. Pete will lead a new plan. That afternoon, Gus visited Pete. Luckily, leprechaun catchers. I wanted a leprechaun, Gus says. I need good luck from my band recticles. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. His pl- plans to clever out with his magic. He plays a junk song on his guitar. Before long, Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. Suddenly, Clover starts spinning around. Pete, round and round. Clover goes faster and faster. Oh no, Clover wraps up Pete with the rope. Pete has finally met his mate. A crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win. He better give in or find something else to snatch. That evening, Callie visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Callie says. I need good luck for my teens, Matt. Hmm, says Pete. Sand practice is almost over. There isn't much time left to catch a leprechaun, but Pete won't give up yet. Pete is a trap for Clover. Before long, Clover trips up to the trap and sniffs the air. Mmm, I love candy, 
He whispers, peer under the basket. Crash! Oh, Pete waits very quietly. Crash! Pete rushes over and checks underneath the trap, but it is empty. Clover skips away. Pete still cried. Me point, but still haven't been catched. And isn't a daily I've got candy? Well, Pete ends up with Squid. Pete has an idea. He follows the trail that spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Shoos! Pete finally catches Clover. Why do you want me? Clover asks. I'm helping my friend who needs some extra luck, says Pete. Luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun," said Clover. "You have your, you and your friends have each other. That only makes you as lucky as you can be." Could Clover be right? Pete is one very lucky cat. A lucky cat does not need luck. Leprechaun. He lets Clover go. Pete decides he will do good, lucky his friends need by helping them out himself. Pete helps Squirrel study for his test. Squirrel aces it. Pete helps Gus reach for the. Riddle. Gus rocks it. Pete helps Callie practice for her match. Callie wins it. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete. Clover says, "I have one more problem for you." While Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something and looked. That you make, beast luck that you take. Any low day of the week. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Welcome to bedtime stories. Today we're going to read Pete the Cat Firefighter Pete by Jim Dean. Thank you for liking and subscribing. We are going on a class trip today. Says Principal Nancy. She leads the class in a white yellow bus. Everyone climbs on the board. I wonder where we're going. Says Pete. We are going to visit the firehouse today. The bus parks next to the bright red firehouse. Pete and his classmates are excited. The firehouse is huge. It's so big it can hold two long red fire trucks and all of the firefighters' equipment. Wing firefighters show the kids around. They give everyone a turn. To ring the old bass fire bell inside the firehouse. Then all the kids take turns sliding down the firefighter's pole. Wee! Callie yells as she glides down. The firefighters allow the kids to try on their gear. Firefighters wear lots of equipment. First, they put on the heavy black overalls. Then they step into the black tall boots. A firefighter helps Pete put on 
the heavy yellow jacket. Finally, they place a head black helmet on Pete's head. All of the gear is very heavy. We can barely move. The firefighters allow the kids to explore one of the parts of the fire. Callie sits in the driver's seat. She presses the horn. Bart! It's so loud that all the kids cover their ears. When Pete turns on the siren, the lights, the sirens play. Wee you, wee you. The lights flash red and yellow. Suddenly, a loud bell rings in the firehouse. Oh, no. it's a fire alarm. There's a fire in town. Cheer up, Pete. The firefighters scramble under gear very quickly. We put on his gear too. They all climb aboard in the fire trucks and turn on the siren and lights. The firefighter be in the firefighters under gear away. Wee you, wee you! The firefighters in him racing through town. And the light flash around and around. The firefighter brothers the horn Bert. All the other cars move out of the way. There's a fire. It's hot and loud. But the firefighters know exactly what to do. They work together as a team to connect the fire truck to the hurt then the firefighters thought were attached a long heavy hose to the truck firefighters became the signal where the firefighters turned the water <laughs> the The water goes out very fast. Firefighters must hold the hose to control it. Pete helps decide the hose as they spy the fire out with water. Suddenly, Pete hears yelling from the roof. It, the fire starts to go out. There's, there's smoke everywhere. Oh no! It's Grumpy Toad! He needs to be rescued! The firefighter raised a long ladder from the truck. Crank, crank, crank! The ladder goes up and up and up! The firefighter Pete and the other firefighters help Grumpy Toad climb down the ladder carefully. Yay! The firefighter is out and everyone is safe. The firefighters drive back to the firehouse. They take off all their gear. They pat Pete on the back and say, Firefighter, Pete help save the day. Good job, Pete.